Uh, day three of uh, Group B African Cup of Nations organized uh, uh, in uh, Cote d'Ivoire at the Stade Félix Wamni Stadium. Uh, Abidjan is between Cape Verde uh, versus the pharaohs of Egypt. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to the platform. My name is Fabiano Deco, and I am right here with your African Cup of Nations daily. The African Cup of Nations is a prestigious tournament, the most uh, you know, <laughs> most watched football tournament in the continent. Today, we are going to see two games that are be going to mark an end to day three in Group B, uh, where the first one we are talking about is Cape Verde versus the Pharaohs of Egypt. What is the statistics? What do we have at hand? What does history say? And I would like to know what you think about this particular game, maybe your own predictions and what you think the outcome will be, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Cape Verde, they are known, their name, their nickname, uh, they are called the Blue Sharks. Of course, the Blue Sharks, uh, they are the first team to qualify for the round of 16. That is, of course, a relaxing uh, note to, to, to take down. Cape Verde are the first team to qualify for the round of 16. Uh, the Blue Sharks, they already guaranteed the top, uh, top spot. And uh, they have very easy time relaxing to see what lies ahead in the round of 16. And meanwhile, uh, their first ever meeting with the Pharaohs is going to happen today. This is the first time these two sides are locking horns. Uh, Coach Bobista has luxury at his own disposal. Uh, maybe some players will be rested today. But ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be a game that is very important and crucial if the pharaohs of Egypt want to advance to the next stage of this tournament. And uh, the pharaohs of Egypt, they have just two points from the last two games in which they pull uh, the draws and making them very vulnerable. And a defeat for them is going to be uh, a shattered in their hopes for the next round. However, a win will guarantee them a second place in the next uh and a progress to the next round a draw could see them go through as best third place side of course ladies and gentlemen and uh, uh but they won't they won't want to rely on that they will not want to rely on a draw because they are seven times african uh champions and uh, they have gone out of the group stages in their last three campaigns. Is history going to repeat itself? That is what we are going to find out today, ladies and gentlemen, at exactly uh, 9 p.m. West African time. And you would like to know about this game. It is really a sad one for uh, the pharaohs of Egypt as the captain and star key striker, Mohamed Salah, has been ruled out of this game. He is not going to take part in this game because of a, of a hamstring injury. And even if they qualify for the round of 16, he will not still play the round of 16 because of uh, that particular injury. That is, of course, uh, the pharaohs of Egypt, their fate lies on a victory, which they will so much want to make it through. But then, which are the players we need to watch? Oh, my God. <laughs> we need to watch Rian Mendes. Rian Mendes, who plays for Cape Verde, uh, he is in strong form with two goals from his last three international appearances. And uh, coming in the place of Mohamed Salah is uh, no other person but Mustafa Mohamed. Mustafa Mohamed is, of course, uh, of fine form. Uh, he netted both the opener against Mozambique and he also scored the final goal against uh, Ghana. This, of course, the fate of Egypt and they are relying on Mustafa Mohamed to pull the strings. Is he going to do that? You need to know that Egypt has scored uh, Egypt has scored a final goal in each of their last eight competitive matches. That is, of course, the statistics, ladies and gentlemen. These two sides are coming for, they are meeting each other for the very first time. It is a game the Pharaohs will not want to lose. A defeat means it's the end for them. Cape Verde, the Blue Sharks, they are already into the round of 16. Are they going to give it so easily? We will find out at exactly 9 p.m. West African time. It is a 35,000 capacity stadium, the Felix Wangi Boni in Abidjan. I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen, with another Group B game, which is going to be between uh, <laughs> the Black Stars of Ghana, and I will be right back.
FIFA ranked uh, 60 best team in the world uh, versus uh, FIFA ranked uh, 113 team Mozambique in the world is going to take uh, on the Ghana. That is, of course, Ghana is at the 60th position according to FIFA's rank. Uh, Mozambique at the 113th position. These two sides are going to lock on. They are going to face each other in a clash of the titans. It's going to be a do-or-die game at the Stad Olympic Alassane Ouattara Stadium in Abidjan. This match is going to take place at exactly 9 p.m. West African time. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome again once more. Thank you for always keeping the rendezvous. Thank you for following us, for uh, watching us, and continuously we bring to you updates on the African Cup of Nations, the most prestigious tournament in the continent. Um, I'm telling you about uh, Mozambique versus Ghana. Uh, the Black Stars of Ghana, they are coming into this game with some hope. And we would like you to know uh, that uh, they are four times African champions. And uh, they have considered in their last two games. Yes, they have considered in their last two games. They have some defensive problems. And uh, uh, they won just one of their last seven international games. Uh, winning uh, one, uh, having two draws and uh, lost four. That is, of course, what makes the Ghanaian side, the Black Stars, uh, a victory for them will give them uh, first success from first round since 2019. History, of course, is on their side as the Black Stars of Ghana, they have never lost a game, a game against the Mambas of Mozambique. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, that's why I tell you it's a do or die game because uh, the members of Mozambique, they are bottom of the group with uh, an inferior goal difference to uh, the Black Stars of Ghana. It is a must win for them if they must progress to the next round. Uh, the members are, are nervous. They are so nervous because they have never won any game against the Black Stars of Ghana. Uh, having met six times, they have pulled out two draws and had four defeats. That is, of course, the fate of, uh, that is, of course, the history of these two particular sides. And you would like to watch two major players for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, you want to watch a clear show who netted Mozambique's a second uh, against Egypt and has never lost an international in which he scored. Take note of this. Striker clears you, he is a player you will not want to miss tonight. Uh, of course, in the Ghanaian side, we are looking at Mohamed Kudus. Mohamed Kudus, all hopes are on Mohamed Kudus. Uh, he scored against the pharaohs of uh, Egypt. Um, you need to know, note this very well, that uh, uh, <laughs> uh, five of Ghana's last six games have seen both teams score. Therefore, it is a very tight game. And in their last three meetings, Ghana has pulled two victories and one draw. Are the Black Stars of Ghana going to make it through? It is a do-or-die game for them because a, a defeat in this game, their dreams are over. But a victory for them keeps all hopes alive. But are the Mambas going to surprise them? Mozambican side, are they going to pull a surprise at this time? The defense of the Black Stars is very shaky and suffering some woes at this particular juncture. Nevertheless, the results of this game is going to be decided in the 60,012 capacity stadium at exactly 9 p.m. I am talking about uh, the <laughs> Star Olympic Alassane Ouattara in Abidjan. It has been Fabiano Deco from this end, ladies and gentlemen. I remain your host. Thank you very much for being part and parcel of us. It is, of course, our usual daily update with uh, you. This time, we are telling you the facts, figures, statistics, previews, head-to-head -head meetings, and what have you. You can always drop your comments in the comment section. I am going to read all your comments. I am watching. Of course, we are going to reply to every comment. Make sure that you tell us who you think is going to be uh, the winner of this game. And why not? You can also tell us more and more what you want us to bring to you on this particular platform. You can watch us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. You can do that as well on Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily updates and more and more insights when it concerns the biggest football jamboree in the continent, Africa. 
Until we meet again, tomorrow I'll bring to you Group C games and Group D, the three matches. Don't go away. We are right here continuously with more updates of events around the world and in Ambazonia. Have a nice day. We love you.